Yeah guys, dropshipping in 2024 is completely done so guys. There's no more dropshipping in 2024. eBay and all these are online marketplaces completely killed it. I believe there was a market for it. It used to be a cool business model, I think in 2018, 2019. Uh, in 2024, dropshipping is completely dead because of all the verification processes and all these online marketplaces like eBay. Uh, they won't even let you send anything without verifying your location or if there's anything suspicious at all they're gonna you know basically verify your location which is impossible if you're drop shipping and therefore drop shipping can only be done through your own Etsy or Shopify store and because of that in my opinion drop shipping is completely dead now I'm not saying buying and sourcing from Alibaba or Aliexpress is dead I'm just saying drop shipping is completely dead if you still want to source from Alibaba and Aliexpress Stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys exactly what you should be doing. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about what is the different business model that we should actually be looking into. Uh, so without further ado, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, like, and let's jump into my computer. Let's go. Like we said earlier, guys, dropshipping is completely dead. Don't ever think about dropshipping from AliExpress or Alibaba ever again. You could instead use AliExpress and Alibaba as your own sourcer, your own primary or secondary manufacturer, your own distributor. So what you're going to do, the only difference is you're going to hold on to the inventory you're buying. It's going to be a little bit longer to sell. It's going to take a little bit more time to sell. So you're going to hold on to the inventory. There's more risk to you, but the game is almost exactly the same. You message the manufacturer, you get a good offer, you get the item to you and you ship it out. How do you know what item you wanna buy? It's either very popular in your niche or it's something that you would buy yourself. So let me give you an example here, guys. Here we are, guys, at aliexpress.com. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys a message I did with one of my manufacturers, one of my uh, stores that I bought from. And I want to show you guys a cool design, cool idea, just to show you that's actually doable and I actually sold it. So here I come, I showed up to this dude, I said, hey, I want these sleeves. And by the way, this is a pro tip here. Sleeves like these that are themed for a game, a card game, like One Piece, Lorcana, any themed sleeves. If you go to the Facebook... <laughs> Facebook marketplace or the Facebook group of the actual card game these are very popular and will sell very quickly they're very hard to get they take a lot of, a lot of time to get to you and not a lot of people have them and they are very cool designs so very pro tip here <laughs> these are very pro big sellers look at all these cool designs that they have uh, these are insane sellers guys these will sell like crazy but going back to what I wanted to show you here is the messaging. This is the most important part of AliExpress and Alibaba is your messaging. Look what I say. I say, hey, I want to get a big amount of sleeves, but I want a good price. Hey, I'll create it an order for you and I can change the price. So immediately they gave me, I think it was a 5% discount. Look at this. She said 15, I can give you one for free. So immediately the first thing I did was, hey, I need a discount. I'm not going to just buy from you for free, but I will buy from you for a lot. Like I'll buy a lot from you, but you have to give me a good price. Can you offer me that? And they immediately worked with me on that. Uh, here's another message. I was messaging this uh, playmat. Uh, another amazing idea, I think, is these amazing, sexy playmats. These are insanely popular. If you could get a really cool design. Uh, you don't even need to have anything on it just a really cool sexy design and these will sell like crazy the problem was it was just too expensive for me at 18 dollars i was gonna make what i was gonna sell them at 25 26 so they just make no money at all but it's still a very cool design uh, but yeah guys another idea here i texted the guy i was like hey man can you make sure you give me a good price here uh, what's your guarantee as and this is the number one uh, tip here if I could give you guys a tip is only buy from people that will message you back <laughs> so only buy from people that will message you back and that's how you just don't get scammed and I want to prove to you guys that I did sell it on eBay so here's a couple of my sales 
as you can see this is another product completely I can teach you how to do this <laughs> where you just uh, kind of put your label on and you can still sell them as you can see this is a high ticket item it's almost a hundred bucks per item and you can just imagine how much I just bought them for uh, and then these are the sleeves I was talking about another cool design and as you can see here it's uh, you know we saw them for eight dollars is a 32 or 34 I mean we're, we were making good money from those good profits almost doubling our money and we were selling sets for 60 bucks so uh, we would buy a set for eight dollars times four is 24 and we would buy, sell it for 60 bucks so think about that guys anyways uh there's there's still a way to make money i wanted to prove it to you guys that you could still make money on tc on this uh aliexpress but you have to do it the other so like we said guys dropshipping is completely dead i hope i've proved it but aliexpress and alibaba are not dead at all here's three tips i'll leave you guys with that will make your aliexpress and ebay experience so amazing and wonderful and you're going to make a lot of money so the first tip is always message your Alibaba or AliExpress store. Don't ever buy from a store that you never messaged before. A lot of these stores are actually fake. I've searched a lot of these stores, especially when you're looking for playmats. A lot of them literally have zero sales. Uh, they'll, unless a store responds to you. Now I'll buy from a store that has zero sales if they respond to me but I will never buy from a store that doesn't respond to me. So as, as long as they respond to you, even if they have zero sales, you can still purchase from them. But if they don't have any response, that's when I would never purchase from them. So that's your number one indicator that this is a fake store is if they're even responding to you. Number two, guys, I want you to basically pick things that are in your niche or you are gu guaranteed to use them. So because the risk of this game is a little bit more, this is not drop shipping. You actually are holding on to the inventory. You have the risk of not selling the, uh, anything and holding on to all that product. I want you to buy product that either is amazing in your niche, you know it's going to sell in your niche, or that if it doesn't sell, you're still going to use it or you can give gift it around. So I don't want you to just be holding on to random products. I want you to test out products that are in your niche or that are very useful to you. This is the best way to start selling, in my opinion, on an AliExpress. Now, number three, guys, I want you to not be afraid of promoting your sales, guys. On eBay, I want you to promote all your sales, guys. Don't be scared of it, man. You're already locking in profits. Once you see how fast your product is moving, now you're going to be so much more excited to buy even more from your manufacturer and to spend more money and your money will come back to you uh, very quickly guys don't be scared of promoting uh, especially when the item is 10 20 30 dollars just don't be scared of promoting that's basically two dollars extra that you have to pay but you are basically allowed so much more time you don't have to uh, feel the risk and you get a lot of your money back much sooner than you would if you just have it sitting there on the eBay store plus the promotion is the only reason we're using eBay is because they do their marketing for us so why won't we use it anyways guys that's the best ideas I have for you that's the best advice I have for you make sure you guys like this video if it helped you a lot uh, subscribe because we're trying to grow and uh, thank you so much for watching we'll see you tomorrow